Psalm 45, for the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah to be sung to the tune Lilies, a love song. My heart overflows with a beautiful thought. I will recite a lovely poem to the king, for my tongue is like the pen of a skillful poet. You are the most handsome of all. Gracious words stream from your lips. God himself has blessed you forever. Put on your sword, O mighty warrior. You are so glorious, so majestic. In your majesty, ride out to victory, defending truth, humility, and justice. Go forth to perform awe-inspiring deeds. Your arrows are sharp, piercing your enemies' hearts. The nations fall before you, lying down beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. Your royal power is expressed in justice. You love what is right and hate what is wrong. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you more than on anyone else. Your robes are perfumed with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. In palaces decorated with ivory, you are entertained by the music of harps. King's daughters are among your concubines. At your right side stands the queen, wearing jewelry of finest gold from Ophir. Listen to me, O royal daughter. Take to heart what I say. Forget your people and your homeland far away. For your royal husband delights in your beauty. Honor him, for he is your lord. The princes of Tyre will shower you with gifts. People of great wealth will entreat your favor. The bride, a princess, waits within her chamber, dressed in a gown woven with gold. In her beautiful robe she is led to the king, accompanied by her bridesmaids. What a joyful, enthusiastic procession as they enter the king's palace. Your sons will become kings like their father. You will make them rulers over many lands. I will bring honor to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever.